A light sword combo that ends on three floodgates and three negates on top? Sign me up, baby! Light swords are not dead. They're not. They're, they're, they're actually fantastic. So if you like light swords, hit the subscribe button right now, baby. Light swords are busted. Why? Thanks to Dugaris over here. You can mill your entire deck and special whatever the hell you want in your entire deck. Thanks to 30 mil times you mill on your turn. So if you guys want the deck profile of this amazing combo tutorial, hit, hit that smash that thumbs up button, smash the subscribe button. In 500 subscribers and 500 more likes, we're gonna be releasing the combo, uh, the deck profile to this combo. And shout out to the wonderful fan who donated $20 for me to break Light Swords. This is for you. Let's go. Light Swords are amazing, man. This is three duels in a row. Okay, not duels, just really showing you guys combos of how to play this deck properly. It, it's insane. The stuff you could do. You basically mill half your deck and do whatever the hell you want. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing. The, uh, you, you'll see it for yourself. And there's three random hands in a row, and you're gonna see just how broken it actually is. Like, it, it's just amazing. You know what? The best way to do it is actually show it. And if you guys like what you see, hit the subscribe button, okay? If this video hits 500 likes, 500, and if we get 500 more subscribers, I'll release a deck profile for this video. It's honestly absolutely insane. We're gonna, we have three duels to show, no, three, three test hands to show. So we're gonna go fast, so you guys can see for yourselves. So the goal here, you just wanna summon out everything. Uh, you're gonna, the goal, no, you're gonna go, so you show a few times. You have nine different ways to go into Scorpio, which is amazing. And the idea here is you want to mill, you're gonna end up using a bunch of your Light Storm cards to mill like 30 cards by the end of the combo. You're gonna Minerva, you're gonna Curious, you're gonna Raiden, uh, whatever it may be. A lot of times, if you draw the power spells, the solar recharges, the charge of light brigades, and you wanna eventually mill. If you don't open uh, Lone Fire, you wanna mill Lone Fire or Scorpio or add Frozen Rose, whatever it may be, and resolve that combo. And if not, it doesn't matter. You just wanna mill your Distrudos as well because it's gonna resolve in the same thing. It's just amazing. Every It's so damn consistent, it's crazy. Uh, you're gonna see for yourself. So here, keep in mind this. So we play the, a few dangers, especially level fours. Because level fours, it, we play Photon Dashes too. It just ensures that you're gonna get Dugaris out. Dugaris is broken as hell in this deck when you're milling half your deck. You get someone that whatever the hell you want, or it's a fixed brick hand, you can draw two, discard a card like Distrudo. Because Distrudo lets you do the guard dragon combo. So it is absolutely insane. Uh, so here, if we were to mill, uh, we had a few mills already. If we were to mill or send from our hand a lone fire, we could have Dugaris bring it out and continue with the combo, but we did it. So what we're gonna do is that we have Frozen Rose. So what Frozen Rose does, it gets sort of a danger or any monster, adds a part of plant, or adds a plant. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna combo here. If they were to Ash or Valor, it doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, you can still keep going because the Chupacabra. And uh, the second you get Dugaris, you can do whatever the hell you want. So even if the Dugaris basically lets you play through all hand traps because if they were to, obviously you're gonna, st obviously it hurts to hit the Scorpio, but you can still continue playing because of Dugaris. So you're just so free flowing that card. Now here you're gonna go Sayusha. Uh, yeah, those car those cards you drew sucked, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you're gonna raid in. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, beauty. We got clown. We got bulb in there. Now you can do a few stuff. Like, obviously, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. A lot of thinking involved. Here you're gonna go into D just a char, which is broken in this deck because of the, the Strudo playing with the Strudo's level and glow bulb. And typically you're gonna lone fire and put up a Roman Jasmine first, and that's gonna get uh, bulb even easier. But there's still a lot of ways to bring out a token with Raiden and uh, to play with levels of the Strudo to still bring out just a char, or to mill a, a Distrudo itself. It's really just how you go into, uh, there's just a way to go into Guard Dragons. And you play Just a Shard for two reasons to get Succession, to bring out a Floodgate, which you're gonna summon, which you're gonna mill. Look, Dugaris, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now you're gonna go to the Solution so number two, bring out that to Chain Block. Absolutely insane. Now you're gonna keep milling. Uh, you're hoping to mill uh, one of you. You get so much draw power. It's just, like, look, you just keep going here. And you look how much you're milling. It's crazy. It definitely sucks that you're, uh, you milled a, a Dyna. Good. So the game plan here is this. Because you're milling like 30 times in your turn, Curious, all those spell cards from Light Swords, the Raidens, whatever it may be, you want to mill uh, Imperial Order, Fossil Dyna, and Apex Avion. Okay? So there are three cards you want to mill. And you're essentially going to be reborning them. We already used Dugaris to get our play more free-flowing. So we can't use Dugaris, but Dugaris is going to summon back one of them. Succession is going to bring back one of them. And then Griffin is going to bring back the Imperial Order. So you're going to end up with Apex, Avion, Fossil Dyna, and uh, Imperial Order. But Fossil Dyna and Imperial Order is mandatory every hand. Apex, Avion, just like a bonus. And Shooting Rising Dragon also mills whatever you don't. 
So, uh, Curious Mills one, uh, guaranteed. Rise just sends one guaranteed. And then the 30 Mills is gonna send the other. So you just save the other two actual Mills for the end after you mill 30. Uh, you're gonna do a lot of stuff here. We're gonna, both summoning for Lee and Raiden will end up in the same result here. So we end up Sukinoko first. Uh, you're gonna go Guard Dragon combo. Guard Dragon just how you do X in the gates up, why not? Especially because you get it for free. And you wanna just save, Foolish Berry wasn't needed there, but it's cool. And Zephyro is also fantastic to mill in this deck, because why not? You wanna get as many rank level four, there's a lot of plays you can do here, like I said, we didn't even, you know, we, that's like another dark in there. You could dark for lights, especially with Juggler at two. We didn't even mill a Juggler, I believe. Yeah, because Juggler gets you uh, light it, or a, a Earth and Hat Tricker or light and Clown to be able to do whatever you want to, with Curious. And yeah, hey, thanks to the guy who donated for this deck because without you, this dream would have never been possible. <laughs> it's just so good. It just keeps going forever. Here, you could do a, a negate if you want, but I wanted to keep milling and draw some cards because you played triple Felix, triple Wolf. You play so many Light Swords, you could, you're gonna end up drawing. And I wanted to have some cards in hand at the very end because you do Garrus. You end up uh, not milling anything. We hit the Juggler, so that's fine. You're gonna get a plus one from that. Uh, here, you're gonna go to Griffin to get that uh, brilliant uh, the Imperial Order. Uh, and then Succession is going to bring up the Fossil Dyna. And just like that, you're going to have an Imperial Order, which stops them from spell cards. Fossil Dyna, which stops them from uh, Special Summoning. And the only way to clear Fossil Dyna is by attacking into it. But they can't ca attack into it when Seal is going to bounce their card. So it's a super cool lock with Seal, Dyna, and Imperial Order. With Hot Red negating anything just in case. And Griffin as the backup in some tremendous way to get rid of Fossil Dyna. You are going to be passing your turn because of Dugaris, but it doesn't matter. Because they can't play for the whole uh, duration of the duel. So we're going to go to the next one here. Uh, we're going we're gonna to fast forward everything because now you guys get the drift here. Uh, a beautiful thing also about Frozen Rose is if they were to Baylor uh, Scorpio or try to interrupt it, let's say Widow Anchor. Uh, you just Frozen Rose, it's off the field, and you can still use it. We're going to keep going here. Uh, you're going to see just how broken this actually is. Here, we're going to go, we're going to want to say, the Light Sword cards is what gets you milling like a thousand cards. So we're going to hope to draw some more Sayuja. Uh, getting a little unlucky with this hand. This hand's not the best, but even in bad hands, you can still do it. Light Swords. So we're just going to keep going for a Sayuja. I want to dig into some power spells. Uh, we got Lumina here, which is gonna be amazing. Lumina, uh, discard, bring out the wolf, and now because you can play with levels, you got all the levels you want, you can really do whatever you want here. Uh, we're gonna go into Curious to mill the other, mill three more, special out wolf. Now you see just how broken milling is because of Curious, Minerva, you get to summon out, you play triple, you lift triple wolf, you summon them out every time. Like, everything is broken, man, it's absolutely broken. Uh, gonna go here again, Agar Pain, this. So Minerva, yeah, nothing, it doesn't matter. You didn't want to do that, and you just want to ensure that you can have Griffin. Uh, you can do a few other negate plays there. If you played Apex Avion, uh, Garnet would have been Apex Avion because we milled so much stuff in this hand. Uh, but we, we decided to take it out with this build. Each each video I'm showing you guys with a different build to try and get perfection for you guys. Uh, all right, here, you can't do anything. Obviously, uh, I'd rather Fossil Dine over here probably, but this would be Apex Avion that I would summon right there. And again, the same idea that Imperial Order they can't activate spells. Fossil Dine they can't activate special summon monsters. And if they were to normal summon, you bounce it with Dino with a uh, seal and you just win. Uh, so we're gonna go into the last replay here. Just doing test hands for you guys. Uh, it is broken, man. It's absolutely broken. Here, like it's it is broken, man. It's broken. I think I'd rather yeah get, get rid of Felis in that hand. And uh, it is so good. Uh, utilizing cards like Minerva and Curious, and because you'd rather set Wolf also with Brilliant Fusion because uh more chances to mill a trick clown uh and juggler and stuff like that you don't want to waste them just yet and you won't because you can play with their levels uh we're gonna keep summoning here curious now send the imperial order send feel like see just how good Felix and wolf is in this deck because you mill 20 times it's just broken bro it's absolutely broken uh you keep going here again you're just gonna keep going keep going keep going summon all, all the stuff it's just broken this deck's honestly insane uh shooting riser send that uh we're gonna have an issue with links uh, so we just have to go into Phoenix to clear space, I believe. Uh, and then you go into Griffin, because you want to make sure you got Griffin too. Uh, you could go into, could have gone into rank 4 there, but you want to make sure you get Griffin to set the Imperial Order. So three ends in a row, which ended on Seal, Griffin, Dino, Hot Red, Imperial Order. Uh, this is just a classic combo. And uh, Apex Avion might be, I realized at this point that Apex Avion might be a little too much in the deck. So we ended up taking Apex Avion out because it's already an auto win. When you have the Negate, just in case. The Dyna, the Order, the Seal, the Griffin. The deck's honestly insane. And uh, you play so many cards to help you play through hand traps with all the dangers, uh, with all the uh, frozen roses to clear your Scorpios. Uh, if they stop the Lone Fire or whatever it may be, do Garrus, special summoning other stuff out. You can do so much stuff, it's absolutely crazy. And because you mill 
like you end up using Minerva, Curious, so that's six. You end up mil uh, all the power spells from Light Swords, the Raidens itself, so you're just special summoning it. You mill so many times that Wolf and Felis almost always resolve. And usually in this, uh, the Minervas I did in this uh, video didn't hit the Light Swords, but usually it hits one or two all the time. So if you guys like the video, hit the subscribe button, and I will happily do a deck profile in the video and a lot of duels with it as well, because I firmly believe that this deck can easily be a viable competitor tier two tier 1.5 bit. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.